Bergeron's got to score to keep the game going. Does not get it in. The wheels may not be off the wagon, but they're wobbling pretty badly. So far, the new year has been much like the previous year for your Boston Bruins. Tonight, the team will look for their first win of 2015 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And after missing 18 games with a broken thumb, newly returned D-man Adam McQuaid is getting back into his routines. I think everyone has their, their routine of pregame nap varying in, in times, but uh, so I just got, got back and got into bed and rested up and you know, got my mind right for, for tonight, so. I'm usually up around an hour before the time the bus leaves, and you know, I always have a, a shake and, and usually some type of a, you know, a power bar. Or I guess each guy does their own thing to get ready, and uh, you know, I like to I like to have a little bit of time to just kind of relax and maybe watch a little bit of TV or do something to kind of try and relax my mind before you know. Uh, before going to the rink, and so that's just something that I like to do. Adam and the boys face a daunting task in this one, playing Sidney Crosby and the high-powered Penguins on their home ice. With the score tied at one, McQuaid finds himself at the center of the action and the controversy. I had no idea where the puck was. With the steal, Evan, a backhand run on the blocker save, Rass, follow up chance, backhand score, no goal. They're going to wave it off, incidental contact. Rass got knocked down to the ice. Greg Adams backhanded it in. But Rass was already flat on his yeah, back. I'm not, I don't even know if it's incidental contact or possibly a penalty. There will be incidental contact, yes. The Bees have not had much puck luck so far this season. But as this one heads to overtime, it looks like maybe, just maybe, things are changing. We're going to check it for a high stick. No reaction from the referee at all. No goal call, no no goal call from the referee. He just kind of put up both hands, and he said, we're going to look at it. The win against Pittsburgh is a big one, but the Bruins need more than just one. Tory Krug and the guys get the chance to make that happen less than 24 hours later against the New Jersey Devils. Bob Pasta, eh? Yeah! Hey, have some fun, let's go. No letdown in this one. The bees dominate from start to finish, which makes the Garden faithful happy, but also gives Tori some time to bond with his sweetest pal, Carl Soderberg. Can I give that one to you? I, it's all right. I heard something. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Thought we had this discussion last game. I'm too hard to give it to you. Yeah. I thought you lost the ankle a little bit. Yeah, but I always score from over there. I thought you watched my highlight videos. I watch yours. Free, free Wi-Fi at Ikea and I watch them all. I'm just kidding, man. You got a good shot from there. Just score. Now we don't have this talk.
A great effort at both ends of the ice as Nicholas Fedberg gets the shutout two in a row for the black and gold. Care to make it three? As the Bruins show up for work on this snowy morning, the mood is noticeably lighter. Winning a few games in a row will do that for you. What's that? Girls, I worked too hard to be able to chew the gum during the practice. I'd love to say well, the same. Somewhere. No problem doing that. I'd love to say the same. Chris? I don't know how can you do that, but I don't know how come you, 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 you always like me. You don't do it. Always. And with that, it's on to the practice ice, followed by a quick trip to the city of brotherly love, where the bees want to keep the good times rolling. Eighteen-year-old David Pasternak pots his first and second NHL goals as the boys keep it going against Philly with a solid 3-1 win. An 88 success means the Bruins brass have a big decision to make about the kid's future. His full first-year contract will kick in if he plays in 10 NHL games. Today was game number seven. After three wins in five days, you'd expect to see the guys relaxing today. But no, they're at the Garden, suiting up for another game. Number 23, Chris Kelly. A game show, that is. It's Bruins Game Show Live, a special event reserved exclusively for season ticket holders. Today, Chris Kelly's black team will take on Brad Marchand's gold team in some of your favorite game shows. I'm very happy with my team. Uh, I actually was just looking around. We got a very young team. Um, all, a lot of the veteran guys are on the other team, but I like that they're a little older, um, sometimes not as fast, quick, and I like the, the emotion that our young guys are bringing to the team right now. So I don't think they have the, the leadership or the character over there. Buddy, what the hell is that? One. TD Garden. Time is up. Nice try. What? What, is, what was it? Uh, Fenway Park. Right? <laughs> oh, city! I've never seen a worse drawing in my entire life. Uh, dead body. I don't know. Hockey player. <laughs> Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr. Yes, very good. Well, we're in the lead. Obviously, we're doing we're doing we're doing well. 80 points in the first the first game is pretty good. Give him puck. Give him puck. Oh. Should have chosen someone with a flatter head, eh? Paisy can either stay focused or he's going to take Marshy out. Keep him up. Keep him going. <laughs> Come on, Lou! Make it up, Lou. Yeah, we're, we really fell behind quickly. Um, I think we really got to step up the next couple and. Um, obviously, we, we all have to be better right now. Chris Kelly's veteran-laden black team holds a strong lead as we head into the final round. But what better way to settle this one amongst the Bruins family than, you guessed it, Family Feud. Hold on one second. Uh-oh, what are we up to here? <laughs> we just want to make it fair. <laughs> very good, very good. Name and activity you do to pass time on a long plane ride. You're the fastest, what do you think? Play cards. The survey says? Yes. It is good. The survey says yeah. that the gold team comeback is officially on. Name something a hockey player might lose. Teeth. Teeth. How about teeth, John? <laughs> the number one answer. You guys are on a roll. Within a few short moments, the whole game comes down to a final question. Whichever team gets it right will walk away with a whole season's worth of bragging rights. What is today's date? 
Yes. Twelfth of uh, January. No, it's the eleventh. Is... It's oh! the eleventh. What is the date? I'm gonna go with the eleventh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the correct answer. Fifty points. All right. Let's take. Let's get the ball. Round of points, Millsy. Let them get out to an early lead to think that they had the confidence to, to completely take it over, and then, bam, we come in strong in the last last game, and then. He just let me down. That's that's all I have to say about that. He completely let us send our team down there. He is walking out with the other team like it's, like it's nothing. I don't know what day it is. And then, you know, he'll just walk it off. No big deal. But then some of us can't do that. Thank goodness Millsy wears that digital watch every day. So he didn't have to think about what day it was, you know. As an NHL veteran and Bruins alternate captain, David Krejci knows it takes a lot of practice to be successful. And not just in hockey, but in other things, like learning a foreign language. You know, I learned some English in, back home in Czech, but once I get to Canada, I was, wasn't even able to answer question on, you know, how are you? Then I was forced to speak English for, you know, seven, eight months straight, then uh, I guess that's how you learn the best. As a Christmas present, David has given his mom and dad, visiting from their native Czech Republic, intensive English lessons, and not just to help them get around Boston. They're here for the whole month, and uh, they're taking English classes every day for two hours. And, uh, you know, obviously they want to have a better relationship with my wife, and, uh, you know, future kids. They're getting better, but, uh, it's not easy, it's gonna take more time, but uh, you know, as long as the effort's there, uh, that, that's all that matters. Our first picture, mm -hmm. right? And what are they doing? Are they sitting? Stink. Stay. Stink. Standing. Standing. Now, here's our, here's our best picture, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is David? Uh, there is David. Mm -hmm. David is okay. at store. Uh, what is he doing? Looking. He is the shopping list. Yeah. What? what are you buying? Yeah, we do this every year. Mm -hmm. uh, toys for um, kids. Mm -hmm. See, very nice. Do you sing in the shower? Uh, me no, mm -hmm. but David <gasps> sing. <laughs> <laughs> because he is happy. Yes, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Wonderful. I rap. I rap. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Looks like David's parents are well on their way to learning English. And while there's plenty of hard work ahead, we also know the Krejci work ethic and humor is there. More on David's attempt at a rapping career in a later episode. The Bruins have won three games in a row. But if Louis Erickson and the boys want to make it four, they'll have to do it against the best team in the Eastern Conference, the Tampa Bay Lightning. What's up, What's up, man? Hey, Nils, you had a single pointing number to the other. No. I'm not that fast. I don't want to. I know you're not. You know you never said that. At least I'm faster than you. Oh, there's something. You should brag about that when the contract's up. Oh. Like, I'm faster than Kel. You should use that as your comparison. Let me know, let me know how that goes. <laughs> Thanks to a pair of goals from MVP candidate Steven Stamkos, it's 2-1 bolts after one. But that's when things really start to get going for the home team. <laughs> With Krejci's parents and David Pasternak's mom looking on from the stands, the Bruins' Czech contingent gets the job done down on the ice. Yeah! Yeah! 
That's two more goals for the kid. And combined with some old-fashioned black and gold grit, the Bruins earn a satisfying 4-3 win. David Pasternak's immediate future with the club needs to be decided in the next few days. But with four goals in the last two games, that decision may just be making itself. Right now, however, the Bruins rookie has a more pressing concern after his big night. Uh, now we're going to see my mom. I hope she's in there. Because after a game, she, she walked back to the hotel. So uh, I hope uh, she came back because I called her to tell her uh, Come and hug me. <laughs> side, throwing it towards Nick Green to get a piece of it, say Pasternak on the wraparound, he scores! David Pasternak with another one. How do you send him back now? Keeping rookie David Pasternak with the Bruins for any more games will activate the first season of his entry-level contract. Weighing those things and the spark the kid has provided the club, team management has come to a decision. So we're committing to you to stay, okay? doesn't mean that you're in the lineup all the time, right? It doesn't mean that you maybe you go down to play a gamer here or there in Providence if your game kind of goes like this, because for 18-year-olds, games go like this, and that's what I've seen over my 20 years in this business. But, you know, we're committing. Um, you've earned it, like we talked about. And um, what you did in the American League was, was you didn't have to go to the American League and you went and you wanted to get better on the smaller ice. Uh, what you did when we once we talked from that, when we had lunch, you got better at, at pucks on the wall, you got better at getting pucks out. So you've done everything we've asked. So um, keep doing what, doing what you're doing, right? Yeah. Um, we're gonna announce it after the first period. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna say a lot of the stuff that, that I've said to you and, and then you'll probably get a bunch of questions after. All right? All right, man. All right. With one important piece of business concluded, the Bruins immediately move on to the next. A matchup with the Red Hot New York Rangers, a team that's tied with the Bees in the Eastern Conference standings. It looks like rugged D-man Dennis Seidenberg and the boys are ready tonight. And nothing is just what the Rangers will get from Tuka Rask and the Bruins defense tonight. Meanwhile, the offense takes care of things on the other end of the ice. No, to turn into it. I did, I did. Hey! No. Turn into it. Hey! Hey! Good talk. During their current win streak, the Bees have been scoring more goals and playing better defense, but They've also been doing something else important, sticking up for each other. Okay, now that's better. Three goals scored, no goals allowed, plus 28 hard-fought penalty minutes for your Boston Bruins, and that makes it five wins in a row. It's been a great start to the new year for the Bruins family. Scoring is up, 
Goals against are down, and the wins have been rolling in. This is more like it.